concentrate on this event. And it's a good start. Danette Young does have the early lead in lane five. And now here comes Gwen Torrance in lane three. Over in lane seven, Letitia Harris. But it is going to Gwen Torrance taking the lead in lane one. Michelle Finn also there. Torrance leading the field. And it is going to be Gwen Torrance, Danette Young, and Michelle Finn. That's an amazing run. And you can see the pain kicks in for Gwen Torrance after the race. This is what we saw in the 100 meter before she came into the turn. She's third from the right of the screen. She was lagging a bit out of the blocks. Danette Young, when the purple had the lead, and then Torrance took over in the last 50 meters. Look all the way on the right of the screen at Michelle Finn in lane one, the very tight lane one, able to qualify for the world championship team in lane one. And here you see her, not so fast out of the blocks, but as she made this transition from the curve into the straightaway, she did it very well. And she has tremendous strength. Don't forget, she was the fastest American at 400 meters last year. And I think it was her superior strength that told as she came down the home stretch. She's been hurt since the middle of May, obviously still hurt, but she's able to hold on for the win. For Gwen Torrance, no pain, no glory, but she gets the victory here. She's with Carol Lewis.